welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new subscribers i'm so grateful to you all so today we're going to work on a granny square heart we'll start off with the pink because we're going to begin making our heart first so we're going to start off with a magic circle you can do the standard chain five and then slip stitch into the first stitch that you make and make your circle but we're going to make a magic circle for this one i like the magic circle because it's adjustable so i'm going to show you how to do that real quick go ahead and lay your yarn just the way that i have it in my hand here turn your hand over and make an x and you can secure it with your other fingers if you need to Go ahead and grab your hook. Make sure that the hook portion of your hook is facing downwards. Go ahead and go in between those two strands of yarn. Go ahead and pull your loop backwards and grabbing that strand at the same time. And then go ahead and twist. Now remove your fingers and wrap your yarn the way you normally would. Go ahead and hold those three strands securely just for a little stability and go ahead and chain two. Now when you make your chain five and you make your circle, do the same thing, make a chain two that does not count as a double crochet. Go ahead and turn your work so that your tail is on top and let's make our stitches. So we're gonna go into the loop with 11 double crochets and for my beginners to make a double crochet is you yarn over, Go into your circle, yarn over and pull up a loop. And pulling up a loop just means to grab your yarn and pull it through that loop. You should have three loops on your hook. Go ahead and yarn over and go through two of those loops. Yarn over again and go through two loops. And that's how you make your double crochet. So I'm gonna make 11, I'm gonna make 10 more double crochets into this circle giving me a total of 11 double crochets. Okay, so now that we've made those 11 double crochets, go ahead and grab that tail and just pull everything together. You don't do this if you make your chain five, you just go ahead and continue on. But with your magic circle, just go ahead and pull that tail and make sure that it's nice and tight. So now we're going to slip stitch into the second chain, into the first chain, or the second chain technically, because it's the top chain. So you're going to go in with a slip stitch into that chain space that you made when you were making your magic circle. Just go ahead and slip stitch into that top stitch. And now we have our circle here. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to, we're going to slip stitch, we're going to make a single crochet in between this chain space and your last double crochet so right here in between that chain space go ahead and make your single crochet this is the space that is between the chain space which is right here and in between that last double crochet make a single crochet next one with a double crochet And now you're going to add six triple crochets. So for my beginners, a triple crochet is just like with a double crochet, but you're going to yarn over twice. So you're going to wrap your yarn around your hook two more times. That should give you three loops on your hook. Go back into that same stitch where you made your double crochet. So go into that stitch, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Yarn over and go through only two loops. Yarn over again and go through the next two loops. Yarn over one last time and pull through two. So you're gonna make five more of those into that same space. So now that I have my one double crochet and my six triple crochets into that stitch, we're gonna go into the next stitch with two triple crochets now remember to just move your yarn a little bit because there is a stitch there when you make your six triple crochets it's going to look like there's nothing there and that this is the next stitch it is not the next stitch is right next to that up under there you just have to push your stitches to the side to see that 
So in the next stitch, we're going to make two triple crochets. So remember again, yarn over twice and go back into the stitch with your triple crochets. You're going to make two triple crochets into that next stitch. So this is one. And here's two. In your next stitch, you're going to make one double crochet. So now you're just yarning over once and go into that next stitch with a double crochet. This is forming the heart. So we have to do the heart portion first before we get into the granny square portion of it. So now you're going to go into the next double crochet, I mean, in the next stitch with two double crochets. So there's one. And two. So now into your next stitch, you're going to make one triple crochet, chain one, and one triple crochet all into the same stitch. So again, yarn over twice, go into that next stitch with a triple crochet. chain one and do it again into that same space another triple crochet so now making our way around you're going to put a you're going to put two double crochets into the next stitch Remember, when you're making your double crochet, you're only going to uh, wrap your yarn around one time. And now, into the next stitch, make one double crochet. So, in your next stitch, make a double crochet. And now, in this next stitch, you're going to make two more triple crochets. So, remember, yarn over twice for your triple crochet. And go into there with two triple crochets. Now in UK terms, I think it's called a double treble because a treble is a double crochet in UK terms. It's, it can be pretty confusing if you're not used to doing it. So now in our next stitch, we're going to make six triple crochets and one double crochet so go ahead into the next stitch and make six triple crochets i'm sorry remember you got the yarn over twice for a triple crochet so go into the next stitch with a triple crochet and you're going to make six triple crochets and one double crochet no chaining in between Okay, so I'm going to keep making these triple crochets and I'll be back with the next step. Okay, so we have our six triple crochets here. Go ahead and in the last one, the last final stitch that you make is you're going to make a double crochet. So now you're going to slip stitch into that single crochet that you made so that we can bring everything together. So go right instantly into that single crochet that you made when you made that in between that slip stitch and that chain two. I'm sorry, between that last double crochet and that chain two. I'm trying to find it myself here. <laughs> okay, here it is. So now go ahead and make, is that truly it? Yeah, this is it right here. Go ahead and go in and make your slip stitch. Okay. So you should have 27 uh, stitches going around. You can count them if you want to. But this is pretty much what the heart is going to look like. 
um, make sure that you're drawing in that loop, that center section uh, when you make your magic circle. But there's your heart right there. Okay, so we're done with our heart and we're going to begin working on the square. So go ahead and insert your hook into the top of that single crochet there. And we're going to make a double crochet stack. Now the pattern calls for you to chain two and then um, to, to make a single crochet, chain two and then make a double crochet. We're not going to do that. That's just too many steps. So we're going to make a double, a, a double crochet stack. Go ahead and insert your yarn and put that through there. I don't know why this is so tight because I didn't um, really make it that tight. I guess I did. Who knows? But I'm going to find the space. So go ahead and put that in there and put your yarn through. Chain one. Go back into that same stitch with a single crochet. Now in the back of your single crochet, when you make a single crochet, you have two bars. There's one in the back and there's one in the front. So you're going to take your hook and put it into the back one and make another single crochet. This will be your double crochet stack. No chaining. So now when you go into the next stitch, you're going to go into your next stitch with a triple crochet. Just yarn over twice and go into that next stitch with the triple crochet. Try to bring, um, make sure you're crocheting in that other yarn and make your triple crochet. And you just need one in that next stitch. Now, once you continue, you want to continue on and do two double crochets together into the next stitch. And the way you do that is you yarn over, go ahead into your stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two only, yarn over again, go back into the stitch again, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two only, yarn over and pull through all three. And that gives you two double crochets together. Then you're going to go into your next stitch and make two double crochets. <clears throat> Chain two. And then make another two double crochets into the next stitch. one half double crochets into the next two stitches that's one and two a single crochet into the next stitch half double crochet into the next stitch and one double crochet into the next stitch Now in the next stitch, make two triple crochets. Okay, so this is what we have so far. After you made those two triple crochets, go ahead and chain two and then uh, two triple crochets into the next stitch. Remember to yarn over twice when you're making a triple crochet. Now, once you've made your two triple crochets, go ahead and make one double crochet in the next stitch. One half double crochet into the next stitch. Now, we're going to skip that chain one space that we made when we had our heart. And we made that chain one and then we made another uh, triple crochet we're going to skip over that and we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch so when you make your half double crochet here go ahead and chain one <clears throat> 
and then um and go into the next space here did it chain one no i'm sorry don't chain one No, it is a chain one. I'm sorry. It is a chain one. Good gravy. It's about 3 o'clock in the morning, guys. Sorry. Chain one. And then skip that stitch there. Skip that chain one space. And go on to the next stitch with a half double crochet. And a double crochet into the next stitch. Two triple crochets in the next stitch. Two triple crochets into this stitch here. Chain two. And then triple crochet again into the next stitch. These triple crochets are we're making the corner of the granny square. Yarn over twice. Put another triple crochet into that same space. So you can have two in that space. And then in the next space, make a double crochet. And then a half double crochet. Single crochet into the next one. A half double crochet into the next two. Two double crochets into the next one. Chain two, just like we did on the other side. And then two double crochets into the next stitch. And now we're going to do just what we did before when we made our two double crochets together. We will do that again. So we'll go in and yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over again. Go back into the stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over and pull through all three. And in the very last stitch, you're going to make a double crochet. And this is what she's looking like so far. Coming along really well. Now we're going to go ahead and continue on. And we're going to move into the second row of this um, granny square here. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're going to go into that top of that single crochet that we made with our double crochet stack. And we're going to make a double crochet. So just go right into there. You don't need to slip stitch because you already have a double crochet there. Because in the pattern it tells you to make a single crochet and then um, uh, make a double crochet and chain and all this extra stuff. So just go into that stitch with a double crochet. Oops. three o'clock in the morning guys hold on give me a second okay and make a double crochet now you're going to make four more double crochets going across space section you're going to make two double crochets chain three And another two double crochets. So once you've made those two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, you're now going to make nine double crochets going across. So push your yarn over if you need to. 
and go ahead and make nine double crochets. That's one, two, nine. And then again, make your two double crochets, chain three, stitch here. We did those nine, and now we're coming back around. So you're going to make a double crochet and four stitches across. Oops. And four. Now when you get to that, that chain space right there, you're going to go all the way down to the bottom where the <clears throat> point of that heart is. And we're going to incorporate that in there. So when you've made your four double crochets, go right into that stitch here with a triple crochet. So remember to yarn over twice. Go down to the bottom. There's this space available for you to just grab that yarn and come up. With your triple crochet and there you go so now <clears throat> you're gonna make another four going across Okay, and now do the same thing on the other side. You're going to make your two double crochets, chain two, two double crochet, two double crochets into that same space. And then you're going to come across with nine double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Granny square, your heart granny square. I think I used the wrong size hook in this one. I think I probably should have used a five millimeter hook, but I'm hoping that you got the idea. So, Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.